The simplest configuration we provide is that of a client of an ACT database and uh, a one-to-one -one relationship with Outlook uh, folders. So what we have here is uh, a single user being enabled uh, to be synchronized with and then enabling it to synchronize with one set of calendar uh, contacts and tasks in Outlook. When you purchase a client license uh, for 123 Synchronizer, you're only able to synchronize one user at a time. So it will not allow you to enable multiple users on your synchronization. So make sure that before you purchase that you actually either want to purchase a, a, a client just to, to synchronize one user or you want to purchase a multi-user multi synchronization product. The objective of the server configuration of the synchronizer is so that you can configure multiple users into independent folders in Outlook and synchronize to them. In this case we have three users sharing a common contacts folder but the calendar are independent of each other so they can actually access their calendar and synchronize to their calendar uh, from a server based uh, system like an exchange server or uh, through a desktop that uh, synchronizes with public folders. Coming back to the synchronizer, we can see here now that there, we have a multiple user database that we're trying to synchronize. So Chris Huffman, of course, has its own username and an Outlook profile. We can select multiple uh, prof or a single profile per user. Also, it has a calendar, tasks, and contacts folder that we got assigned to Chris. For Fred, we may want to use a different Outlook profile. So we can select from a list of actual uh, Outlook profiles available on the system and then just start Outlook and then select um, the folder for this particular user. So now what we're doing is interfacing with multiple Outlook profiles using a single interface. One thing that's important, always make sure that you have Outlook Outlook not running when you change profiles because it will pick up the default profile in Outlook. So this way by just simply clicking on the user we can actually then set up uh, whatever profiles we want if we want the same profile or not or if we want different profiles. Um, so now you have a server set up where you actually uh, processing two users for the server. Each user has its own independent profile as well as independent uh, Outlook folders. So what we want to do now is enable these users. If they're disabled, like if they're not checkmarked, the software will not pick it up. If they're checkmarked, that means they're enabled. That means it, it indicates to the synchronizer that we have to process the, these users. So if you click process, it will list these users and by clicking on the process users, all the users are then processed.